<laughs> but with Mick, then then people tell me Foley mentioned you in his book. They didn't tell me anything else, and I didn't read the book, and he's done very well with his books. That he mentioned you. He had some good things to say about you. Good things, okay. I didn't ask what. Then I go along, and then Lawler writes a book. You know, here is Chester the Molester. He's out here. He's writing a book now. And all he does in his book is talk about his long-lost cat, his third teenage bride. You know, so that's not much of a wrestling book. But he puts in his book, once again, another lie. He put in his book that I left, I deserted their territory and that shithole territory they had in Memphis. I deserted them. Those sorry thieving bastards, him and Jerry Jarrett, I deserted them to go to McMahon. Get your facts straight, Lawler. I'd been away from your territory for about four years. I had done two tours in Canada and back in Calgary again with the Hearts. I was working for Stu Hart when I went to the WWF. Wrong again. Then Hogan writes his book. Then Hogan says, he puts in, he don't say that he met me and and I gave him a bed to sleep on. He never mentions any of that stuff. He never says, uh, we threw our bed, Dr. D. David Schultz and myself, we threw the beds down and we slept on the box springs and he slept on a one mattress and, 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 and Eddie Leslie Brutus the Barber Beefcake was on the other mattress. He doesn't mention that I gave him my car so he could go out and, and, and frolic with the girls at the nightclub one night. He never mentions that. But what does he do? He puts in his book and spells my name wrong. For Christ's sake, at least spell my fucking name right. Even Lawler spelled my name wrong. Come on, who are the people that's proofreading these things? So, so that's you know, and then and then Ric Flair got his book came out with all the nonsense where he's a, people get on to me about being controversial, but these motherfuckers write books, and then Flair's knocking damn near everyone in the business. But yet, if I say Ric Flair, Saggy Boy, woo, Saggy Boy, Ric Flair, then I'm I'm saying something bad. Or Ric Flair's matches are all the same for the last 25 years. You know, I'm wrong. But then now that he's knocked other people, everybody's saying the same thing about him. 